For today's grim adventure, I have to invite you to come on in and pull yourself up a chair, like Cherry, and come with us to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery to visit the final resting places of one of my all-time favorite childhood TV show characters, Jombi, the blue-faced genie. Wish? Did somebody say wish? Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecca hi, mecca ho ho ho. The wish is granted, long live Jombi. For those of you who have no idea who Jombi the Genie was, basically in the TV show Pee Wee's Playhouse, he was a disembodied head that would grant Pee Wee Herman a wish, one wish each episode of the show. And any time that Pee Wee Herman tried to get more than one wish, he would get a little, a little angry. I was kind of hoping maybe he'd give me an extra wish. An extra wish? You want an extra wish? What do you think this is, Christmas? Yeah. Oh. It was kind of comical. But whenever he would grant these wishes, he would say things like, mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho, and other weird, weird words. And then they would also do this crazy circular, it was like the powers that be coming out of his head as he granted your wish. It was, it was pretty cool. It was definitely one of my favorite characters, aside from like Captain Carl and Missy Vaughn. I mean, the whole show, Pee Wee's Playhouse, was amazing. Now, Pee Wee, there's two things missing from this drawing. <laughs> two things a setter always looks for on a mermaid. I know, are they round? Sometimes. I know, I know. Earrings. <laughs> no, Pee Wee. A belly button and a watch. <laughs> John Paragon's final resting place here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery was actually really easy to find. It's right over here in a small hallway between the Sanctuary of Faith and the Sanctuary of Trust. And definitely what is the coolest urn I've ever seen in my life of visiting cemeteries. Look at this. His urn is the Jombi the Genie box from Pee Wee's Playhouse. How freaking perfect is that? Now there's a little plaque here that says John Dixon Paragon, December 9th, 1954 to April 3rd, 2021. And on both sides of the box, looks like there's a couple of different photos of John throughout the years. Like the one right there on the bottom right looks to be a was that a school photo? Let's take a peek on the other side. I hear it still to this day in my head. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. The granter of wishes. John B. the genie. When John Paragon died on April 3rd, 2021, the coroner listed it as heart disease and chronic alcoholism. But whenever he died, he wasn't laid to rest anywhere. He was cremated and his ashes were kept by his closest friend, Cassandra Peterson, Elvira. In fact, I think she held on to his ashes for a little over a year until they found a spot here at Hollywood Forever. In fact, it's because of Cassandra Peterson and Paul Rubens Elvira and Pee Wee Herman that he has a spot here. They raised, I think it was like $14,000 to have him be here for eternity and have this really cool zombie box. There's even a photo that was taken from right about here, the day that John Paragon's ashes were laid to rest here. In the photo, you can see Cassandra Peterson on the left-hand side, Paul Rubens in the middle, and on the right, Missy Vaughn. That's I'm always gonna know her as Missy Vaughn. Over the course of his life, John Paragon had some pretty amazing roles and worked with some pretty amazing people. I just so happen to remember him mostly from Pee Wee's Playhouse, but he was also in Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the movie, come on. In fact, 
there was a behind the scenes video where it shows him just kind of hanging out in this kind of comical way. I love your hair. They put a funnel up my butt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, don't you think this is funny? I need a house in Falwell, like I need a hole in my butt. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's funny. That's Jim. Here's Cassandra being a... Jim, how about this? <laughs> how about this great idea? Well, like I said, I pretty much only remembered John Paragon from his role from Pee Wee's Playhouse. But in preparation for this video, the more I started to do research on the man, the more I found some pretty interesting stories. One of them being this. After his death, Paul Rubens actually tweeted a couple of different stories about his time knowing John Paragon. One of them being they both had this, they got their start at a place called the Groundlings Theater Troupe. It's like a theater school. And basically, it was John Paragon who came up with the idea of the blue faced genie. But in one of the tweets, Paul Rubin says him and John Paragon were driving down Hollywood Boulevard and Pee Wee Herman, gotta say Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens, looks out the window and he sees a sandwich shop sign that says Jombies. And that's how Jombie the genie came to be. Now, Hollywood Forever Cemetery is known for having some famous residents. And John Paragon actually has a famous neighbor. Right around the corner is the final resting place of an actor by the name of David Lander. Now, if that name doesn't ring a bell, maybe his picture in one of his most famous roles does. He was Squiggy from Laverne and Wants to look at the same broad night after night. And supposedly he was a Pirates fan. I didn't know that. Pittsburgh. There's a little plaque here. It says, Never goodbye, always hello. David L. Lander, June 22nd, 1947 to December 4th, 2020. With that being said, thank you for joining us on a small grim adventure, this time to Hollywood Forever Cemetery, telling the story, visiting the final resting place of John Paragon, Jombie, the blue-faced genie from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Till next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I'm in love. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.